Hey everyone, it is Time Traveler. Uh, we are playing Raven Quest, getting ready for, or we're playing Raven Dawn, getting ready for Raven Quest. And uh, we kind of uh, hit a little bit of a snag with the Ipsy Dipsy Spider trying to kill the Spider Queen yesterday. Um, and so I think we need to grind and just get up a little bit of a level. Uh, we have some crafting here, Ranger's Quest and a dynamic. Um, we'll see if we can uh, do the crafting. I wasn't doing a lot of grinding of uh, collecting items um, or crafting materials. I wasn't doing a lot of gathering, um, so it might make it a little bit trickier. But I did go ahead and I bought some infusions off of the auction house. Um, so I was able to just upgrade my weapon, which should make us a little bit more powerful, but probably not enough considering we only got the Spider Queen's uh, health down half the way uh, before we were murdered. And so this will give us a little bit more experience doing these crafting and uh, maybe we can get up to level 30, grind our way to 30, and uh, then we'll be more in line uh, with the different quest lines. And if anyone has any recommendations of quest lines, I'm just kind of following the ones that I know. Uh, but perhaps there are some uh, ones that are more appropriate for a level 25 to 30 that I'm not aware of in areas that I haven't explored. We'll just uh, we'll we'll do our farming here, and then we will uh, craft, and we'll see what else we have to craft in our bags. And we'll see if we can get thirty thousand XP so that we are uh, grinding things efficiently. Let's see, carpentry is probably the closest, then we'll do cooking, and then we'll do alchemy. These are the kind of things I could probably do not in a video, but uh, since we haven't really spent time doing kind of the behind the scenes grinding, um, I figure I'll include them in the video today in case anyone's been following my guides and uh, hasn't done any of this stuff. So we still have some milk tea. Got to make sure that if I burn through the milk tea while crafting that I uh, use another one. We bought like 80 of them yesterday, so we should be good to go for a while. We should have potatoes. Yep, we got plenty of potatoes. Still just level two. When every three levels for crafting, you get a passive crafting skill and so it's good to level those up when you do because you can get more experience, you can get more items, you can increase the chances of success. Um, just a bunch of different things depending on what skill it is. And you can also do mass crafting when you unlock those which means you can do like 20-30 of these at once which makes it a lot quicker and just boom 10,000 XP, 20,000 XP. And it looks like we have multiple different qualities of potatoes, so after we burn through these normal potatoes, uh, we'll make sure to use those to get as much as we can. Probably should have checked my cloth. I, don't, I, I noticed the leather didn't have any, but 
probably not make a huge difference. But all these, all this potato pulp, we can uh, turn into an alchemy item, so we'll be able to get experience twice for all all of the stuff we're using. For a second there, I was like, "Wait, where's all my skills?" But the skill tabs change uh, when you're crafting, and as you level up crafting, you get uh, more more skills you can do. As you guys can see at level 2 cooking while being at level 28, I've been ignoring all my professions. With the passives, I've generally, during phase two, one and two, I did like plus experience, and uh, you can change them later. Um, there's a cost to it, but I probably should have been uh, changing my um, s passive skills. I think maybe you use experience in the beginning to help you level up quick, uh, and then you change it to um, getting better or more quality items later. And we should probably check out the passive skills. So you go to the professions, and it uh, looks like we're level 3 carpentry as well. Um, so let's add more experience there. Looks like we hit blacksmithing. Let's do more experience there. Farming, yeah. We're um, off the ball here. And where was cooking? Did I already do it? cooking. Okay, so we will get more experience. So it says 260. Let's that I believe that's what it just was, but let's see what it actually pops up as. Two seventy five. And so let's use other random materials that we have. Uh, basically, if you have higher quality crafting items, um, there's less ch chance of them failing and they start in better. See, it says excellent condition. like one more. So we needed 30,000. I don't even th I don't even think this probably gave us 10,000. Uh, but we will be able to grant it if I, oh, I I don't think I need herbs to make the first alchemy level. But that's another reason why we should be collecting herbs. Um, let's go and make sure we don't need to sell anything while we're here. Then alchemy will be next stop. Keeps putting me on normal level while I'm mainly high level. So we're going to make purified. Looks like we can make 18 of these. It's like only like about four and a half thousand experience. We may have to do some gathering to get enough materials.
seven more. Looks like we may take a break here to um, get a little bit more experience once we hit, oh, we just hit level three. That'll also help us hit our dailies a little bit quicker, considering it's wanting um, experience from crafting items. but not least let's go and do crafting we weren't doing a we were running by all those nodes so I don't think we got a lot to do here maybe we don't have any am I able to do whetstone yet okay we need wet no we don't have how do we not have any stone Did we sell all of our stone? That kind of baffles me. And we forgot to use our tea when we ran out. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? Okay, so we still have quite a bit. So we're gonna, we planted some more potatoes so we can do that grind in a little bit. believe there are any other quests here. It does say there is one here. Tree of Life. It's uh, below our level, but maybe we should kick that out. Okay, I believe we can... I'll have to check the map, but I believe we can... Um, warp closer to there. Where was it? Okay, yeah, there's Leapwater Marsh. I'm trying to remember if I've ever done this one. All right, what does it say? Upper floor. Here, yeah, let's see if we have any packs to open. Yeah, we do. Let's get a legendary. Like we got a grand, or we got a rare, archery, warfare, wizardry, fireball. Okay, I don't think we need any of those. Excuse me. Okay, let's uh, let's talk to this person. It, I suppose that depends. A new faction has risen amongst the elves. They threaten our way of life, which is as old then it is as I have foreseen. The threads, you must be my agent in Elsmira. Do what you must in order to see. 
Okay, use the nature matter to analyze the current health of the Tree of Life. I don't think I ever did this quest line somehow. These guys give me any experience. Somewhere here, I believe there's a tree of life. Um, looks like that center. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I don't remember ever doing this quest, so this is cool. Uh, talk to her again. Way down there. Sounds like a kill quest. Uh, kill 20 elves. Nice of them to give me a little XP. That chest there looks like it's going to be part of a quest. We'll have to see. This is nice because it's nice and quick and easy. But this looks like a quest we could have done a little while ago if we knew about it. Ooh, look at all those ones. more. Wasn't easy, I tell you. Life is very weak, curious. All plants have a life force. A tree will give a little more, and in the meantime, I will meet with the. Let's go. Okay, sparkling things all over the place here. Guess we're in the right area. Oh wow, we 
just have to do a lot of these. What just did damage to me? Basically, click on anything in this area. Let's go. Who collect the plant matter? I must meet. Wonder if someone's going to try to kill us when we go to save the tree. deep underground in the ancient layers of may the fates guide your step All right looks like we need to go underground looks like it's on the western side of the encampment encampment let's try this one one.
I think I see a little entrance there. Level three mining. Don't see any flowers here. Let's go down another level. Well, this looks like a nice, easy quest to bang out in the beginning. Gotta collect stuff so that I can do my crafting. I believe this mushroom's like level 27 or 37, or level 7? That looks like a quest item. Looks like we need three of them. I guess if we're going to be doing a quest line, doing it without, uh, or a low level quest line, doing it without um, the adventurer spirit bonus from doing dailies, is the time to do it. Yeah, I definitely never did this quest line before. I feel like I saw it on the map, and I don't know why I didn't do it, considering I was looking for ones. Alright, so that should do three. Now we just have to find our way out. We start at the square down here, or do we start all the way at the bottom? I feel like that was the mushroom that was level seven. Pay attention to where you go in. Hoping in a future update they will show where s different stairwells are, or at least ones you've discovered. I can understand a little bit of fog and war. Not sure why I need to kill this guy. Just feels like completing something.
head on back to Iris. Where is the Iris? Brought some elves and flowers to see you. That scent. Aaron, please give me a moment to mix the paste. Use the paste on the tree of life. time the protectors come out. Okay, I've got to defend the tree. guys pop up or do I just go and okay I just killed them fast this might take a second I want to assume they come faster and faster Maybe three, four more rounds of this. Do I try to heal it again? Interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's like right on top of it. Heck, these should be low level, right? Let's uh, <laughs> let's kill two birds with one stone. Let's do it. Keeps not targeting the one right next to me. Just trying to make sure I was actually targeting one that's for the quest. it would target the closest one. Maybe there's a setting I need to change. inside that crystal. Ooh, look at that one. A high elf. It's 
see if it gives us any experience considering they were like 10 levels below us. Some bags, some infusions, a little bit of XP. this necklace increased healing power by five I don't think that is super helpful for me Mecha quest for 60,000 experience. Do we finish that for our daily? That was the wrong quest to do considering there's not much mechas. Okay. So there's a transport here somewhere. Wood here. It's amazing you could just gather all day with the amount of resources that are on the map in Raven Dawn. We go back to Sajako Island. So we could go and look at the board. Uh, I think we just need to grind. I mean, we'll be grinding goblins anyway. <laughs> just some goblins will help us more than others. some mining while we're down here. It's will really slow things down. I guess I can try to do some research as well, find out what other low-level quests there are. It's like if I mine, I'm never going to get 60,000 experience from goblins. <laughs> Let 
mean, it almost seems like the smarter thing to do is try to find a dynamic quest to, f to finish quickly. And I don't mind grinding minding, I just know that I feel like it's not quite as interesting for people to watch and it's something that's kind of self-explanatory. I could grind all day forever. Not bad XP too at this level. Maybe if we're down here we're at least killing some mechas while we How much experience are these only gonna give me like seven, eight hundred? Four oh boy. Yeah, that's like 120 of them. Is that a damage or just slow me down? Looks like a slow me down buff. I was like, wow, stand here for nine seconds. I'd much rather win mining if it was something that like took down your armor for a amount of seconds or reduced your damage for a while. It's just, uh, it slows things down a lot when it's like damage over time when you're trying to mine, which may be the point. I'm wondering if it's better to do mechas in here or to go down one more level. I'm not sure if there's mining down there as well. Did these guys count as mechas? Can't remember. I feel like they should. Looks like we need more tea.
least we have a uh, adventurer board that kind of suits our needs to grind it and get a bunch of crafting materials. So at least we're doing two things at once. But it would be nice to get to level 30 here as soon as possible. this, but if there's a bunch of mechas inside, maybe that will help. Oh god. <laughs> and I just used my... Well, this could actually help us with our quest if they're all mechas, but they're all tough. A couple levels ago I would have died. Right there, for sure. The game is being generous with the crystals today. I don't think I've ever gotten two of them within 15 minutes of each other. Granted, different zones, different areas, doing different things. I believe that this is actually a, exactly what I needed for this for this adventurer board as long as I don't die <laughs> I guess that one, I was like, where'd that goblin come from? But it must have been a respawn. I don't know if it'll be cause me trouble, but I should really be using my helper. If I was a lower level, this would be a nightmare stone. Respawn number two.
Come on, let's uh, do this all in. No! Getting attacked. Mm, didn't finish it, but it did give me a nice chunk. <laughs> I was hoping that would finish it. I feel like there was like, I guess there was only like 30 or 40 or something. I need like 120. Wishful thinking. That definitely helped. Two thirds of the way done, a little over. Far and a half away. Maybe we should try the next level down. If we found one more crystal, that would that would do it. But I guess it has to be a crystal with the mechas in it. Our mecha upstairs. Guess that would have, well, it probably would have disappeared in about a minute. I think it only lasts five minutes. I was like, I thought there was a, a way down from here. Let's just get a, let's get a breadcrumb me with mines the way I don't want to go. Nope. Won't be seeing cobalt, cobalt in this lifetime. to see if the if the underground area if it was more mechas there and oftentimes when you go down levels things are a little bit tougher as you go down which would be more experience skills are going up. My fingers just always want to click.
At least you get second chances, otherwise Trigger Happy Me would be missing all of the mining. Yeah, so let's see if there are more mechas here. At least see that one's level 27, that's level 20. Can't see what level that one is, 27. I think they're a little bit stronger. But generally the stronger they are, the more experience you're gonna get. It didn't look like more experience. That was more experience. I gotta take out this one. My life's going down faster down here. Is there no mining to distract me down here? It's better mechas for sure. there will be a shiny down here for me. I don't feel like I've found any shinies. There was probably a shiny in that tree of life area there. I feel like I just skirted around the edges and never went to the center. Let's bring my own little mecha friend. search this entire place. Maybe one more area up here.
don't think I saw any shinies at all. I think I did come down here for a minute before, but not for long. Probably another roundabout. Oh, is there another level to the mine, or is that where I can gatekeeper clink? I miss this. die in one minute. I'm gonna answer a call. Be right back. That is how you die. That is sad. And I realized that I was probably being attacked. I was like, I'm probably fine for another 10 seconds. <sighs> I could have ran. I would have been fine. That's hilarious. Alrighty. Um... Darns. <laughs> you saw it here first. Killed by the ghost chair. down there just actually be doing the dailies.
was like right there. I couldn't see the little, I feel like last time we played yesterday there was little dots for those stairs. Ooh, nice play. Why did I lose target on there? Just let the main guy wail on me. Okay. Gatekeeper Glint. I'm guessing it must be something later on in the game. Wow, I'm getting I'll have to uh, I'll have to Google that one after after the stream. Just to make sure I didn't finish anything. No. How am I doing on? Not so good. I'll be doing better once I finish this Ranger Company. percent sure what happened there. So about nine or ten more mechas. Gotta get revenge on this guy. Three, four more. We can do it. So can't talk to any of these others, so it must just be a quest line to get in there, unless I'm just missing some wonderful. Maybe. There's a quest later where you can disguise yourself as a goblin. level up here in a second. Small glory shard. Hooray! Get rev 
revenge on this guy one more time. Should finish this off for me. Level up. I guess look for a dynamic event. That was fun. Um, bum, bum. One point. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I could reset warfare, um, but I really feel like I should have fireball. Um, but it is very nice having or or um, meteor. But it is nice having some life steal. Otherwise, I feel like we'd just be like watching me um, recover health <laughs> a lot. Teleport to town. <laughs> Empty our bags. Do a little bit of crafting. Okay, I guess we should empty our bags first. Just grinded for more than an hour. Yeah, so we can go get our potatoes. Fun. And I'll make sure to figure out what's going on with that glint, the glint, the gatekeeper. If there is a quest there, I want to learn it. My guess is it's something uh, farther ahead. It's just something that sends you back and all of a sudden it's a harder zone. I could be planting more expensive stuff. I think I just started planting potatoes at the start, uh, but at the same time, if I'm gonna do more expensive stuff, I'm gonna need, um, I'd probably do herbs, and uh, I'll need a good s supply of um, the stuff that I make from potatoes for making potions. Uh, 
I also need to go and fig remember which which potion or which items are good for making the low level potions because I was I made so many of them at the beginning for the most of phase three I was just using them up and I got a plant potato. sideways this time. Alright, so now we can make some stuff. I think we cut down a couple trees, but I guess this is Taylor. I don't think we're gonna be to do anything here. Nope. Mainly just mining, but at least we can get a uh, uh, wet stones now, because I'm pretty darn sure we got stone. If we didn't, I don't know what's going on. So if we can get this to level 6, then it's much quicker because you can do multiple at the same time. But that's not going to happen instantly. I'm almost wondering actually if I should make some whiskey or some baked potatoes just so I have some food. We'll make a batch of potatoes. Just a couple more. Whoops, was there still one more? <laughs> Eager to be done. I want to get back out there. Mountain here. Right, let's go to Herbland. We can do our mining, which hopefully we did enough mining we can actually finish these off. totally meant to do this crafting daily yesterday. I didn't check if there was. I totally meant to do this yesterday, which is the silly thing. And so it's yesterday's quest. 10 intelligence. Yeah, can I make this? I can actually make one. 
which then I will have some potions. Um, and it also allows me to see, so um, refreshing leaf and earthy stem. So I can plant some herbs uh, that give me earthy stems. And some refreshing leaf, but those are also, I can pick those. Earthy stem, earthy stem. here pretty soon. Maybe after I finish with all this stuff, I can work on that, take a break, do some research, see if I can find any other quest lines. See, I could I could make some of these items. All right, I actually have stone now. Oh, wow. These take a little while to make. they will be helpful. I mean, I think it does one attack power on your weapons. Which is helpful. Definitely need to get up to level 8 so I can do 50 of these at once. It's kind of, I feel like it's a little bit ridiculous at this level. But you put in the time and good things happen. Now we have actually got, we made some food, we made a whetstone, and we made some potions. So, I mean, that might even be enough to take out the spider queen. It really helps when you have all those things going. It really does. The show experience, I gotta go into the other bar. We're not going to hit level 6, that's for sure. Or we're not going to hit level 8 for mass craft. I'd like to get all these out of my inventory so it's clear. I'm kind of surprised we didn't have more copper to do. forget what happens here when I use the last one if it fails or if it's just the last chance. Yeah, I got it. It's also curious when it adds 25% but it's got a 100% success rate. 
How do I end up with 74 sometimes? It's just a critical failure. Did it again. Sorry doing all this on video, guys. It's uh, just important, but I understand it's not the funnest to watch. So it might be, might be time to grab a cup of coffee yourselves. <laughs> daily easily I'm just curious how how close I actually am 24 and a half thousand so this isn't gonna do it I guess I could make some armor I'm trying to I think I can make a I'm probably not high enough I was gonna say I think I can make a fishing hook Wow, can I already make nails? It's like I can make this stuff, um, but my armor is already better. Like I can make this, then I can turn it into a tier two, but they do give more experience. So it's kind of, it's like I can use it to level up quicker, but in the long run it's not really helping me. Like by the time I finish all this, my farming's done. Hooray! One more after this. Should have continued mining a little bit more. I could have gotten it all done. Poor condition. Alrighty. I think I am gonna end the video here, take a break, do a little bit of research, 
Um, just want to find a few things in between. Um, I've, I feel like when I hit level 30 last time, um, I got to Harbor Island and then I was just stuck grinding pirates because I wasn't, I'd done all the quests at Sajako Island, but I just, I wasn't quite strong enough to complete any of the quests on Harbor Island. Um, and so I feel like if I can find a couple more quest lines uh, that help me kind of advance a little bit further, uh, it'll be very, it'll be much more beneficial. Um, it'll make things a lot smoother being able to do quests for you guys all. Um, this is also one of the reasons I'm doing all this before Raven Quest comes out is I want to, I know things will change, but I want to at least have an idea of a very smooth way to progress and do things. Um, so I'll end this here and uh, I'll start another stream for y'all or another video. I should do just do streaming. It would be easier and you guys could say, oh, do this. Um, we could have 10 brains going at once. But thanks everyone for watching. Um, I will make another video for you guys soon and I'll see you in the near future.